Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Snailiad. Um, this is the first Let's Play I've done in a while. I've been wanting to do this for, well, years, or however long I've first discovered Snailiad. In the time between me discovering it and doing this Let's Play, there's been a sequel, which I plan on getting around to. But that will come later. Until then, let's press play. This game was developed for Newgrounds, though I'm playing this on Congregate because it was the first result. Though I first discovered it on Armor Games, but you don't care about that. This is the title screen. Um, we can start a new game or a load a saved game, though this one, I tried to delete it. In fact, let's go ahead and delete that right now. You can erase your save data right here, and I will erase it. Don't worry, I had not even left the starting area. I had accidentally started it in a failed recording. Um, so, as you can probably tell, this game is a throwback to the NES and Super NES era of gameplay. We'll find that it's actually very Metroid-esque. It's a Metroidvania game, but obviously starring snails. And it's, it's more than inspired by Metroid, it actually lifts elements directly from it. Anyway, here's our plot. All is peaceful in Snail Town, with these goofy-eyed snails. Until one day, Moon Snail left on a journey. Ah yes, Moon Snail. He will be important later. You can tell that because he was mentioned in the opening cutscene. And here's an element that it never is really brought up, rescuing the snails. You don't really need to rescue them, you just need to explore and eventually you'll find them. Can anyone rescue the missing snails? Well obviously we can because we are the player character. Snaily Snail. He is, again, a slightly goofy looking snail. And he's very shocked at this. Ah. Well, now that that's over with, we get to the gameplay. Um, alright. We can either use WASD or arrow keys. Um, for this game, I use the arrow keys, but in most games, I use WASD. Anyway, let's talk to this first person. Alright. Ah, you, can, you probably saw that I started eating some grass. In this game, you refill your health by eating grass. You can see up in the top left corner, we have three hearts. That gives us 12 hit points. Each bit of grass heals for three. Ah, we are in Snail Town. Um, you can see we have a, you can see a little mini map up in the corner. That's really all we've discovered so far. We can cling to walls in this game. That's one thing for Metroid that isn't directly copied. I really like the mechanic, and it gets improved later on in the game. So we've already seen the controls. We haven't seen the map yet. Huh, not quite as big as the Super Metroid map, but. Still, we've got quite a bit to look for. Anyway, let's keep moving. We'll explore a little bit around Snail Town. There are a lot of secrets in this game. Yes, exactly. We will find pretty much every secret. You might not get around to finding all the shortcuts, but all the items and things like that, we'll get those. These people basically explain what I've already said. Oh. You can talk to this guy to get some slight spoilers. He'll help you figure out your next objective. Hmm, breaking green blocks. We might get around to that. Ah, uh, yes. As far as wall climbing goes, you can only go around 90 degree angles. You can't go up and around something like... You can't go around ceiling blocks that are too wide of an angle. Again, this will be improved upon later, as, as this is a metroidvania, but we will get better. Pretty much everything. Well, we should just probably stop dawdling around Snail Town. We'll be back later. Ah, and save points you can find scattered around the ground. They will be S's on your minimap. And welcome to Mare Corellia, which already has the best music in the entire game. I, I really love the music in this game. It definitely sounds like an NES soundtrack, and even still, it's good in its own right. Ah, here's another save point already, in case you were barely surviving the first room. Again, we cannot do that, at the moment at least. Anyway, we're underwater, so perhaps we can find a weapon of some sort. These fish will not harm us, they are just fish. Very small fish, considering we are a snail. And that blob thing is not a threat to us. I think they're actually called blobs, but I might be wrong. These spinies can crawl along walls. They are good at that. 
No. Ah, we've been hit. This is purple grass. It'll heal you for much more and for much longer than regular grass. It's also faster. And here's our pea shooter. Something that the game neglects to tell you right now is that instead of just holding Z and being able to move around and shoot, you can also hold still by pressing C. It does the same thing, except you can shoot in every direction without having to move. Which is something that any Contra player will know gets him killed over and over. Ugh, we've been hit again. Normal mode is basically the same as easy, except you keep getting hit. No. Enemies do more damage, and I think they might take more damage. Or maybe we just do reduced damage. Either way, it's slightly harder to kill things, and slightly easier to get killed. Aye. Hmm. So now that we have our first weapon, any Metroid player worth their salt knows that with a weapon you can open doors. You must find a door to open. Presumably we can find one slightly up here, where we couldn't go because we probably would get slaughtered without a weapon. But first, let's... Ugh. Anyway. First we need to go back to Snail Town. That is important because some people have changed their dialogue. Yes, they do that often in this game. I probably won't get around to showing every one of them, but there are a lot of interesting little details, the game developers included. Ah, welcome back to Snail Town. Heh, he comments on our pea shooter. And he will explain how to open doors. For a second, I was wondering if snails actually have genders, but actually, I'm not so sure. Do they? Hmm. I will look that up. Don't bother telling me, I will already have looked it up by the time you're seeing this. We just found a secret. Yes, there are pass-through walls. Sometimes you can only get them by going through a certain direction, because of how your snail is shaped. He's a bit shorter than he is wide. That is a heart container. We cannot reach it just yet. Yeah. Nope, definitely can't reach it. But if we were to crawl around it... Nope. Uh, come on. Not quite. Yeah, we're not going to be getting that. Perhaps later, but not now. Hmm. Slightly disappointing. Helix fragments. We got one of those earlier. Wait, we did, right? Yeah, we did. I didn't think I com. I don't think I commented on it at the time. But there are collectibles in this game. You gotta catch them all. Hmm. Getting a lot of mucus right now. Not sure why. These arrows will guide us out of Snail Town, and let's avoid that save point, because they slow down the game by half a second. We can't have that. That's just unacceptable. And welcome back to Mare Corellia. Ah. Keep getting distracted commenting about the music. I should just be listening to it. And more to the point, avoiding enemies. Well, we've seen pretty much everything there is to see down here, so why don't we keep going up here? More blobs. Oh boy, they're gonna knock us off the wall. Yeah, I told you. I hate those guys. They're almost as bad as Castlevania birds. There are Castlevania birds in this game, and we should be seeing them shortly. Boy, with a pea shooter, you can only shoot in five directions. You can't shoot down in any way. Again, a bit like Contra. You can only crouch. But in this game, you're already small, so you can't crouch to begin with. You can't open this door. But that... Oh, darn. We missed. That door up there, the blue one, much like in a regular con... No. Yeah, I keep saying Contra. Metroid game, you can shoot through these walls. I'm mixing up my Nintendo games. I keep referencing them that I forget which one's which. Alright, let's avoid that spiny and not manage to do so. Come on, blob thing. You are in our way, and we must get by. Oh, boy. Oh moy? Yes. Oh moy. I think I sighed halfway through that. Anyway, for some reason I really hate this room. Maybe it's because it's so large, maybe it's because there's so many things that will hurt you, that, at the moment, you cannot hurt. You hear that sound? That's a sound that says that something can be hurt, but not now. Spoilers, there are better weapons than the pea shooter. Ah. Huh. Thought I'd land directly on that blob and get hurt and then get frustrated and grumble some more. Plus the prizes. They're things that you like getting. Oh boy, this ice blob of sorts cannot be hurt. 
I can tell I will not like this guy. Uh, hmm, nothing down here. Alright, let's crawl. Oh my! Would you look at that! A red door! Even stronger than the pink doors. And more guys we can't hurt. Let's just continue our way up here. And probably stop discovering areas we shouldn't be reaching until now. Until later. We reached it now, but won't be able to get it later. That's what I mean to say. I trip up my words a bit. <laughs> Hello. Yes, you can get through this door by instead of trying to shoot it, just crawling up and around it. I actually did not know that until very recently, where I discovered it by accident. Weird, huh? Anyway, these are spikes. Do not jump on them. You can't even pass through them, like in some games. Like the Long Mulana remake, which I do like. Um, thank you, Deceased Crab. I definitely went ahead and bought it. It was a good game. It is a good game. I haven't even considered playing it seriously. Let's talk to this guy. Stop referencing people better than us. Huh, the shell shield. This is a useless power-up, and I can already tell that. Well, useless most of the time. There is a certain part in the game where it will come in handy, but for now, it only serves to give you mercy and invincibility and avoid taking damage. But it's so slow and unwieldy. Like, see, there's like a half-second lag between pressing it and... I didn't even try pressing it. I was just stupid. Anyway, as I mean, as I was going to say, um, the shell shield is a bit slow to activate, so in bosses and in quick-moving enemies, you won't be able to deploy it in time to make any use of it. So it's got that hindering it. But at least it's there, so we know that if we really need it, we can use it. And it might come in handy. That's just a very small might, but it still exists. Hello, Castlevania bird. I told you we'd be seeing them. Seeing multiple of them. Luckily, they're easy to kill. Only taking, like, one shot with a pea shooter and easy... No, medium mode, even. There's no hard mode in this game. Well, there's something along the lines of a hard mode, but there's only easy, medium, and something else. It's not quite what you'd expect. Oh, another icy room. Full of icy spikes and... Ah! The inability to hold the up button. I need to cling to walls if I want to survive. That is the way of the snail. Uh, hello, Ice Blob. Aren't you invincible? That makes you so special. Hmm. Nope, nope, too obvious. Too obvious, I never pretend I didn't know that one. Ice Blob, you are not my friend. But you do try to give me hugs. I appreciate that. Hmm, there seems to be something over there that we can't quite reach. Oh well. Let's head back. We need to make some progress. We're already 13 minutes in, and we haven't really done much. Well, I'd say that. We already have the weapon, and we've advanced pretty far into Mari Corellia. Yeah, yeah, we've gotten pretty far in Mari Corellia. Uh, let's talk to this guy and end the video. There's some kind of secret passage to the right, but we're not sure how to get through. Well, that's easy. We just need to break it with a slightly improved weapon. Like, let's see. We can't break it now, but we will later. Because this is a Metroid game. Metroid-inspired game, a Metroid venue. Oh boy, I am already forgetting how to speak. Well, that should be a good enough reason as any to take a break from playing Snailiad. Later, we will play Snailiad and get hit by a Castlevania bird during the outro. Good night, everyone.